I've been seeing a lot of these concrete bowls um, on the internet and decided that I was going to try my hand at making a couple for myself. I'm going to create kind of a recipe here that I've not seen anywhere. I'm just going to start with shredding some egg cartons. I put them in the blender, added some water, and this really helped mush it up. So I created a little bit of a recipe. And so for this recipe, you are gonna need one part egg carton, one part Portland cement, and one part dirt or peat moss. And then you will need a container to mix it in, a mask, and some gloves. You wanna get your hands in there and really mix this stuff up, incorporating all the ingredients together before you start adding water. want to just add a small amount of water at a time. I had a mixing utensil here that I was trying to use but I feel like it was better with my hands that way I can feel the texture. And you want to get it wet enough that you can clump it but dry enough that it doesn't all stick together um, in, the, in the bucket. You want to start by lining your containers with a plastic bag and then you start by putting in a small amount at a time, pressing it in as you go, and then forming the shape of your bowl um, inside your container. I had two of the same size bowl so I did one on the inside and tried the second one on the outside so I just did the opposite I just covered the bowl with a plastic bag turned it upside down and then mold around the bowl um, this gives the outside of the bowl more of an organic look versus the other one has more of an organic look from the inside this one was a little bit more difficult to do because it just wanted to slide down but once you have enough of this mixture all the way around the bowl um, it has no choice but to stay where you put it and this ended up being my favorite bowl from the ones that I created this day I apologize for the angle of my camera um, I was a little distracted with getting my my bowl made here. I didn't see where my camera was pointing, so I apologize for that. Once I had the entire bowl covered from the outside, I just went along the edge, putting my fingers on the inside, and then you're able to feel how thick um, this mixture is around the edge of the bowl. So I kind of did it uneven so that it wasn't completely the same all the way around, just giving it more of an organic look. I didn't get this on camera, but I made a small little circle that I added to the bottom of my bowl for a base. I ended up having a little bit of extra but it wasn't enough for a third bowl. So I took and cut down some milk curtains and then I just pressed it into the bottom and went all the way around the, the bottom of the curtain um, making an edge. And then it occurred to me that these might make really cute candle holders. So I took a candle and wrapped it in plastic and then pressed it in shaping the size of the hole I wanted. This was the hardest part for me. I had to wait while they were curing. So what I did was covered them with plastic and then let them sit for three days. Mm -hmm. 
I then uncovered them and let them sit on my counter here for two more days just in the open air. After that, I put them outside in the sun for about two hours and they are perfect. I absolutely love the texture on these and they are so lightweight. I am so excited to finish these. At this point, you could go ahead and add paint if you are not happy with the color, but I absolutely love the color. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a finish um, by sealing it. So I took some Mod Podge and just brushed it on. This gave it a tiny little bit of a shine and it is just absolutely perfect. I probably one day will paint um, over the larger bowl, but for now I am very happy with the way they look. I would love to know which one of these three is your favorite. Mine is still absolutely the biggest bowl. It is lightweight and so authentic looking. I'm very happy with it. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you have a blessed day.